1940 proof Jefferson nickel with reverse of 1938. According to Ron Guth and Bill Gale in their 2002 edition of United States Proof Sets and Mint Sets, the reverse of 1938, with wavy steps on Monticello, is currently approximately 50 times rarer than the reverse of 1940 variety. Ice blue, pink grapefruit, magenta, and apricot colors endow this well-struck and seemingly unimprovable PR68 specimen. Even close examination with a loop fails to reveal any marks, hairlines, spots, or other distractions on either side. An amazingly original piece that ended up selling for $28,750. Here is 1922s piece dollar struck 15% off center. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, struck 15% off center toward 330 with a wide arc of unstruck surface centered at 830. The devices are complete but the tops of the tie in Liberty and the Erica in America are partly off the flan. The right side legends exhibit metal flow toward the rim. The centers are intricately struck, as often seen on off-center error since no collar could impede compression of the dies. Beautifully preserved, and attractively toned in ocean blue and chestnut gold shades. It was sold for $39,656.25. Next. 1938 Lincoln sent in Mint State 68 Red. A superb gem from Gerald L. Martin collection. According to NGC, coin production dipped in 1938, as the United States experienced a setback from the economic recovery period of 1933-36. The Philadelphia Mint struck just over half the number of cents in 1938 that it had the previous year. Enough rolls were saved of this issue to make it nearly as common as surrounding dates, but prices have long been higher in the Mint State grades. This MS-68 red gem fetched a sum of $10,518.75 with buyer's fee on February 4, 2024. <music> 1942 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as AU-58 by Annex. This satiny World War II off-metal error is attractively toned golden brown and ocean blue. Free from consequential contact. The strike is soft on the O in one and the high points of the portrait aligned with the collar near 1 o'clock, such that the L in Liberty and portions of E Pluribus are off the flan. It was sold for $11,750. 1950 Roosevelt Dime with full bands. Graded as MS-68 FB by PCGS. Silvery centers are larger on the obverse which seeds to cinnamon sprinkles near the rim, the reverse shows a broad swatch of fiery orange-red. Both sides are free of even the smallest distraction, as expected. It was sold for $8,812.50. proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR68 plus deep cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, cameo pieces, while still a small percentage of the total, are readily available to the advanced collector. Ultra cameo specimens remain rare though not nearly so much as for earlier dates. As in 1936-42, proof sets of 1950-55 were packaged with the coins in individual plastic sleeves that were stapled together and shipped in cardboard boxes. The slightly brittle plastic used through 1953 was replaced with a more flexible one in 1954 that provided better protection from contact, yet it also toned the coins more readily. This elusive gem ended up selling for $7,593.75 with buyer's fee. 1995 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1995 double die is the last of its kind. Late in the 1990s the Philadelphia and Denver Mint began using a single hub technique. The single hub technique would only strike all dies once, therefore, eliminating the possibility of striking major double die coins. The 1995 double die is dramatic enough that it can be seen with the naked eye. When the coins were initially discovered, they were commanding as much as $300 for each raw example. As time went by, many more examples were discovered and the premiums dropped to as low as $20 or less for each coin. The 1995 double die Lincoln sent is still a very neat coin. It is the most dramatic double die for all circulating coins from 1995 to date. This elusive specimen was sold for $1,968.75 with buyer's fee on February 4, 2024. 
1968 D. Kennedy half dollar struck 40% off center. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, the off center strike disappears from the planchet to the right on the obverse, so Kennedy's face and most of his head is present, but the date shows just the one, along with the mint mark. Struck on a 40% silver planchet, which limits the date options even if there was no confirming evidence. It ended up selling for $940. Thanks for watching this episode. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you move on with another video. Have a good one.